Hello everybody, my name is Polygon Island, and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make pretty much any object in Music Visualizer. If you don't know what a Music Visualizer is, it's basically the little like circle thing that you see in music videos going to like the beat of the music on something like NCS or any other channel that really uploads like music by itself. Uh, so I'm going to be teaching you how to make pretty much anything a Music Visualizer. Um, and as long as the mesh is like an okay mesh and has like decent topology and stuff, you should be able to do this. So let's get right into this. So I'm gonna be using a skull for today's tutorial because I think it'd be look it'd look kind of cool as a visualizer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open uh, import an OBJ, go to where my skull is. It's not that folder. It's this folder. And then I will link this model in the description below if you guys want to download it. Um, but it's gonna come in like this. So I'm gonna hit R X negative 90 to rotate rotate it negative 90 degrees uh, on the X axis. So now we have our skull. Um, and it's okay. And if we go into edit mode, we can see that the topology is pretty good, so it should be good for making a music visualizer. And uh, if your mesh does not have good topology or it doesn't have enough uh, faces, then you can just add a subdivision surface or manually um, retopologize the mesh by yourself. Um, but now what we're going to do is we're going to click this little wrench icon to go into our modifiers tab. We're gonna add a modifier, and we're gonna to add, we're gonna add a displace modifier. Um, we're gonna click new, and then go down here to our textures tab, and then on the type, what we're going to use, I used magic uh, for mine, and you can see that it gives us these like waves and stuff, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to do now is if we come over here to strength. Um, actually on our little animation timeline right here click this and change it to graph editor so right here so now we have this graph editor if we come over here to our strength uh, tab on our displacement modifier right click and click insert keyframe we can see that we now have a keyframe in our graph editor for the strength so now what we're going to do is we're basically going to tell um, all of our keyframes to follow music so blender has this really cool thing where if you click key and then bake sound to F curves you can open up a, um, a song so I'm going to just open this one which is a no copyright song I don't really know what it is but we're going to do that anyway so now if we click play actually we can't do that yet what we have to do to actually hear the music is we have to add a speaker and the speaker just plays the music in the view in the viewport so if we add the speaker and then go down here to this little sound tab, click open, and then we open that same song that we have in our F curves. If we click play. So you can see that um, now the music is corresponding to the displacement on the skull. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so you can do a lot of stuff with this. You can just make regular visualizers. You can make uh, little like animations uh, where like things are moving to the beat in the background, um, and it can be pretty useful for a lot of things. And it's really easy in Blender. Um, it's really cool. So uh, that's basically how you do it. Um, Thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like on the video and leave a comment if this helped you with anything. Uh, I read all you guys' comments and I love to read them and I love the support that I get on these videos. But thanks guys so much for watching. My name is Michael from Polygon Island. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.